Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. I see that people are starting to enter the room, the web. Thank you. Uh, I still see that people are joining us, so many people are uh, waiting in the room and many people are on the road and to enter the room, so we'll wait another two or three minutes and then we'll start. Thank you.
So again, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us in this webinar. I know your time is important and really appreciate the time you took to join us uh, to today's webinar. Uh, we will continue right now, although some people are still uh, joining us. My name is my name is Ari Krokach, and I'm your uh, host today for today's webinar. And on our agenda today, we will speak about the concept of uh, from machine to cloud and back, the new type of communication between machines, between machines and people. Uh, how does the Unitronics UniCloud solution? Uh, integrate in this uh, eco, new eco environment, what are the business opportunities for businesses, for end users, uh, maybe for your customers, and then I will step into a demo uh, on the UniCloud uh, platform. At the end, I will share with you uh, the resources where you can uh, try this uh, platform yourself, where you can find, of course, free of charge for three months, and where you can find uh, resources for self-training, self-learning. Uh, it's quite easy. This platform is very intuitive and straightforward, uh, especially for people that are coming from uh, the industry. Uh, at the end, we'll have a q and A. I I will be available for questions. And please use the question tool uh, in the webinar in order to uh, write your question. At the end, I will uh, address the question that will be placed over there uh, while we are doing the, the webinar. So let's start. So for machine to uh, cloud and back. So in the past information technology, which was called or is called IT and operational technology, OT, were seen as two separate domains uh, of a business. Uh, a while ago, uh, a new uh, integration between both of them uh, happened and what we call IoT, Internet of Things, uh, which basically enable us to network or connect physical objects with electronic sensor software and a network component uh, with data center, and therefore we also could uh, connect with people. IoT enable these objects to collect and exchange data between themselves and with human beings. Now, I, IoT, which stands for Industrial Internet of Things, is, has a similar concept, but for the industrial industry. IoT is also known as Industrial Revolution 4, and is basically uh, out there and everywhere uh, around us. Uh, it's not anymore a revolution that is uh, due to happen, uh, what we call the train already left the station. It's uh, happening uh, even if we don't uh, notice that this is what's going on uh, behind us, around us. Say a customer wants a complete solution at a low price, at a low cost, and to be able to use the data to explore uh, new opportunities for their business, uh, maybe for new products. Uh, uh, the fact that now uh, devices can communicate, communicate with us uh, through the internet basically uh, took out all the barriers uh, or limitations. Uh, and we can see basically that um, the imagination of, uh, of new businesses is kicking, up, kicking off and new products are, uh, which are connected to the internet are all around us. Everything has been, today has been monitored and uh, collecting data and using data to make a smart uh, business decision based on real data, trends, or patterns. Unitronics for many years uh, knows as one of the best uh, in terms of uh, connecting, measure, and monitor. And today I will show you that for a while now, for more than a year, we have also an option to connect all your machines, new and current install base, to a central cloud station solution, which we call the UniCloud. It will enable you and your customer to stay up to date with the latest technology and stay relevant in the market. By doing that, you open for new business opportunities for yourself and for your customers, 
And as soon as they use uh, the, uni the UniCloud solution, which is fast to implement and has a very short learning curve, uh, you and your customer can start using your imagination for your business growth. So the, uh, the solution is already here. Uh, it's not a solution that is tend to come or in development. Uh, we could see this basically uh, in the health uh, industry. I will give you some examples of, uh, of industries which are already implementing these kind of uh, solutions. So let's say, for example, the sector of uh, agriculture. The uh, sector of agriculture is uh, basically in-house, or many use it for in-house uh, agriculture or vertical farming, as, as it is called. Uh, so basically, if you need to control the environmental of your farm inside a, a building or, or a, a co complex, you basically need to be able to uh, measure uh, the humidity, measure the power consumption, the water consumption, or any other environmental or any other uh, data that you need. You can present it, collect all the information, and basically adjust uh, all those components in real time to give you the best uh, ROI on your, uh, on your growing. Some are also using this as green walls not to grow something that you, you know you can uh, sell they basically <clears throat> use uh, green walls inside the offices in order to make uh, the, the air around uh, their employee uh, to have a better quality uh, again they need to <clears throat> they need to uh, monitor the humidity and any other uh, <clears throat> any other factors that they need to in order to make uh, this efficient The healthcare sector, I think this was the best uh, example that we saw in the last two years with the COVID, uh, COVID epidemic, uh, where suddenly uh, hospitals or COVID departments had to learn how to work remotely with patients, that they had to minimize the time that they uh, engage with them physically and they need to start working with robots, with any other sensors uh, from a central control room. They need to collect the information in order to understand how, what is the progress of this patient for the last 10, year, 10, last 10 days, for example, in order to give them the best, uh, just and to give them the best uh, treatment. And we basically saw, I'm sure you saw TV, we basically saw so many new robots, so many new technologies that in no time pop up in this kind of environment. And the fact that um, machine builders or integrators who took off the shelf uh, PLCs, sensors, and a cloud, a cloud platform, and basically assembled very fast a, a solution, uh, basically enable this uh, dramatic situation, dramatic uh, uh, improvement, and uh, it helped to protect the patient as well as uh, the staff in the hospital. So this is the biggest and the fastest uh, sector that we saw in implementation of uh, IIoT uh, in the last two years. Industrial manufacturing, in transportation, we could see, we can see it uh, as well in a water uh, plant, uh, for example, in your car, uh, electricity car, electric cars. Basically, if you take the Tesla for, the Tesla, for example, you cannot open the door with the Tesla, Tesla if uh, the Tesla uh, control room uh, through the cloud is proving that you are the owner of the car and only they, they can uh, open the door. Even in my simple car, which is not an electronic and not an electric one, today I have a, a new kind of a language with the car. Uh, so it's not anymore taking your car once a year to the garage to do your uh, service and maintenance. If a sensor, for example, an oxygen sensor uh, is going to fail, I will get on my dashboard uh, a, a note, an alert, please go to, to do some service and take care of this problem. 
in some dramatic uh, or severe uh, cases, the machine can shut down and will not let me uh, drive to the service uh, center. So, uh, and everything is basically is a measurement which is sent to a cloud uh, platform and then based on some rulings, a business ruling or maintenance ruling, a message is uh, sent to you. So it's a circle of life and this is why we call it basically uh, from machine to cloud and back because it's not only for measuring and storing information, is what you do with the information and how you can affect back on the user who's using the machine or on the machine itself. So I don't know if you know, uh, for example, using the UniCloud, you can also, for example, shut down the machine at your customer or the users, the, the user side. You can change parameters, for example, the temperature tags and so on, uh, and so forth without logging to, to the PLC via VNC with remote access. So it's also an option by clicking on a button on a dashboard to program back the PLC without uh, having anyone to start uh, trying to log in uh, back to the PLC remotely. So it's everywhere, it's around us. Uh, we are all using cloud solution. Take for example, the Office uh, 362. Um, we all use uh, Outlook out of the cloud. It's not anymore located on our uh, physical, uh, on our local machine. Um, smart watches, know uh, how many, what is our uh, heartbeat, what is uh, the other health uh, indicators, straight from, uh, straight from uh, touching our screen. So everything is measured and a new type of conversation is being created between the machine, let's call it like that, and other machines, and between your machine or your device with you as a, as a end user client for this kind of information. So why do, why do we need to use uh, UniCloud? It's not about, it's no longer about selling a PLC or a machine, but rather a whole solution for machine to cloud and back. And it's not about even educating our customers or our end user customers, because everyone is, uh, you know, uh, used to work now with measurement, with uh, indications, with the internet. So when a customer will ask you, do you have, can you build me such a machine or can you place a PLC over here? He will immediately ask you, do you have a solution? Because I want to upload everything to the cloud. Maybe I want to save the data for legal reasons. Maybe I need to understand to do some analytics and so on and so forth. Uh, this is going to be, or it is already a demand from customers. And uh, if you are going to enter this, uh, this uh, kind of niche, uh, which is not hard, I will show you how to do that. It's very easy. Uh, you will be able basically to stay in a way relevant in the industry. You will be able to have, uh, to keep your competitive advantages and you will be able to stay relevant for yourself as a, on a professional level and also uh, to your customers. So it's not something that, uh, you know, people can say, uh, I don't want to be part of it. I don't understand it. I sold until today only PLCs. Uh, this is something that uh, everyone will experience and as, as, as more and more customers will start using it and we do see this as a demand, rising demand for end users and customers, um, you will be able, you, you will be basically asked to, to uh, give a solution uh, uh, for, for them. A quick uh, overview on the on the ecosystem of this uh, solution. So in the middle, we have uh, the cloud system. Uh, one of the clients of the cloud is of course the machine or the controllers. We are able to um, connect straight with the UniCloud, the uh, Unistream uh, series because it has a built-in adapter to the internet. And But we can also connect to 
uh, other models of electronics like the Samba, Jazz, and Vision by putting uh, between the cloud and between these two, uh, between these uh, platforms, a UniCloud a router, uh, which is relatively not expensive, has a piece of for software that basically will be able to connect all your devices to the cloud. Is that the solution of a cloud is not necessarily only for a new installation. You can take the cloud, go to your current install base, and by installing just the router uh, between those uh, machines and between the cloud, you are able, or your customers are able to be uh, to enjoy all the benefits from uh, from the cloud platforms. You are also able to connect the cloud to a non-unitronics uh, PLCs uh, if they talk with the Modbus uh, protocol. So you connect to not only for uh, Unitronics PLCs, you can even connect to any smart device, not necessarily need to be also a PLC, any smart device, let's speak uh, uh, Modbus. Another two client of this platform is the machine builder, which is basically after he uh, basically connected physically the machines to the internet, he will sit and he will need to build uh, all his uh, maintenance tools and his dashboard and decide what he wants to save on the cloud or not. And he even can share those uh, products that he produced, those dashboards with his users, with his customers. So it's not only that you as a system integrator or you as a machine builder are able to log into the cloud. You can also share and add users from the end users. So both of you will see the same information. Both of you can understand uh, and use the data in, in different ways. Now I want to show you uh, the added value of the cloud. I, what I did, I basically split it into two groups. The first one is about uh, maintenance or service tools, and the second one is about uh, BI or analytic tools. I know that most of you are using today giving service to customers, are using today maybe remote access and so on. So I want to basically show you the pack of all the tools or the package which is related to maintenance and service, and how you can basically raise your efficiency uh, and at the end of the day, you will save cost. So the, one of the uh, fundamental uh, core uh, uh, function of our maintenance tool that we, we took basically all the logistics out of the spot of you guys. So everything is transparent. If you want to log in remotely uh, via VNC to a PLC, maybe today you need to take care that uh, the other side there will be someone on the other side. We need to ask what is your fixed IP. Maybe his internet provider replaced the, uh, the fixed IP. Uh, there is uh, an engagement that basically is kind of a preparation in order for you to be able to log in and take care of an issue. Uh, we took it away. So as, as soon as you connect your PLC to the cloud, you can connect to the VNC. Uh, without a need for anyone else to be on the other side. So you, do, you are not depending on anyone, therefore you spend less time on service calls. And of course, um, the other thing is that you can monitor all the telemetry on the dashboard. You can see it in many ways. I will show you charts, tables, and so on. You can also put everything on one page side by side. So you can see the telemetry side by side with the VNC window where you see actually the PLC uh, dashboard and you can remotely program it or change anything and immediately you will see uh, the change of, uh, of the telemetry that is being uh, displayed on the, on, the, on the dashboard. And the fact that you can actually see everything side by side Basically, this is one of the biggest benefits service-wise or maintenance tool-wise because if you can see everything in real time and if you can share maybe this dashboard with the service manager of your customer, you basically see the same data, you speak the same language, 
and at the end of the day, you will save time. There is no misunderstanding what is actually is uh, happening, what is the uh, value of the temperature, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can see everything, you can share. At the end of the day, the life cycle or the time it takes you to handle this service call will be shorter. And if you can, you know, if you can save like 20, 30 percent of your service time, it's worth a lot of money. Worth a lot of money. I don't know if you guys are basically company owners or team uh, team uh, leaders of service uh, department, but imagine what you can do with another 30 percent of your time of your employees. This. Uh, uh, basic uh, basic um, advantages, we added some automation, alert automation, which we call events, which basically give you, gives you an automatic, uh, can send you an automatic uh, email or an SMS, you can choose, based on some ruling that you will put. Okay, so if it's a scheduled if it's a scheduled uh, report that you want to send to yourself once a week, once a year, uh, once a day, uh, you can decide what will be the content of this report. You can send it to yourself. You can send it for, to someone else that you need to provide this report. Everything is done automatically. You don't need to go to the PLC, take the SIM with the data outside, download it, copy it, create, generate a report. Everything is done automatically for you. The another other two uh, alert types, one is triggered by an alert and one is triggered by a value. So for example, if you want to be aware on an alert, critical alert from one of your machines worldwide, and I'm not speaking about point to point over here, I'm not speaking about, I can see on my dashboard only one machine. You can, if you can connect all your machine to the internet, you have a global view. And when you put in place an alert or a template for alert that uh, please look at all my machines and if the temperature of those machines is uh, reaching 90 degrees, I want to get an immediate SMS. I want also the SMS to be sent to the customer service uh, manager and I want the SMS to send to someone else. Okay. So basically, everyone knows that you know you can buy, you can you can build nice uh, dashboard, but no one is sitting in front of the dashboard all day. Okay, the dashboard is used to do monitoring, and we are very busy people. So basically, we are going to use these alerts, and if uh, an SMS is being sent to me that there is kind of a problem in one of the machines with the information of the machine and the and the temperature of the of the machine. I can basically start to engage whoever I need to do, whoever I need to engage to, to take care of this developing issue. Um, so I can, of course, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I can trigger a basic and automatic alert based on uh, PLC alerts, built-in PLC alerts. But as, as I said before, I can also trigger an alert which can be sent to me by SMS or email uh, using a value. So I can measure uh, the temperature of, uh, of the, my machine, I can measure the CO2 levels or whatever I can, uh, you know, it's inside the tags that are delivering data to the cloud. Uh, if the data is being delivered to the cloud, I can measure and I can uh, uh, perform an action which is based on the data in the cloud. So this is basically a complementary tool, this auto alert. Uh, it's in all the level of subscription, so we don't need to have a very expensive subscription in order to use that. It's a basic tool and it's a complementary working side by side with the fact that you don't need to do any logistic. You don't need to do any logistic also to, to be able to send yourself an SMS or an email. So today, if we are working only on the PLC level and not uh, using cloud, you need, to be, you need to know how to configure uh, an email server connection to the PLC in order to get emails from the PLC. You need to be able to know how to configure your uh, SMS providers uh, in order to get an SMS. Maybe you are spread in different countries. Maybe providers cannot uh, deliver the same uh, the same service across countries. Maybe the uh, the price is different. 
we, I, when I said we took all the logistics from you guys, I meant it. You don't need to take care of anything. You just need to configure what is the alert, uh, build the template for the email, build the template for the SMS, and it's automatically it's transparent to you. Okay, so this is how easy it is, and I'll show you how easy it is to, to do that. So if you can basically use all these tools, and it's quite easy to do that, uh, you basically raise your efficiency. And this is the first thing that customers, machine builders, system integrators, and their customers uh, understand, uh, because this is what they do today. They understand how to translate these capabilities, this uh, functionality, to, uh, to in terms of uh, cost saving. The other part of uh, the other part of UniCloud is related to BI, business and business, business intelligence solution. The fact that you can collect all the information, regardless if you are using it today or in seven years, seven years from now, the fact that you can visualize it on UniCloud, uh, and the fact that you can make smart business decision based on this data. So for example, uh, let's take the trend analysis or let's take uh, what is called prevented maintenance. The example that I, I, uh, I uh, told you before with the car, alerting on a, on a defective sensor. So let's say that, um, let's take another example. Let's say that I have a water pump and I'm measuring, I put uh, an alert and I'm measuring basically the temperature of the uh, of the pump and if i look on the chart i see that every day while the pump is performing the same the same uh, um, consuming the same power consumption and the pressure in pressure out are constant um, from some reason the temperature every day is rising in five five degrees okay usually when i will have a situation it will be only when the temperature is reaching, reaching to um, a point that might be that the machine will stop uh, working or uh, I need to, to do some maintenance. But if I see that there is a trend like that for the last week, for the last month, I already know that I need to act in order to prevent a future situation that will not affect me. It will affect uh, my client uh, production flow because the machine, the pump is connecting to whatever machine he has on the production floor. So we want to prevent the situation that customer is calling me and say, look, the machine has stopped working and all my production line and everything is suddenly super urgent and it's in the middle of the weekend and it's uh, during the night and the logistic around bringing the people, bringing the parts is, is a nightmare. Um, so over here, you basically can uh, do the analytic uh, in time, um, and you can charge for this, okay? So it might be part of new services that you want to give to your customers, okay? So you can even charge for this because this is quite a kind of a, what we call a premium uh, service uh, model that you can ask your customer, do you want me to do you want me to do it for you? You can also build a dashboard for your customer, charging for that. And, uh, and the customer access to see the uh, some of the some of the data and performance of his machines. Maybe a customer is looking for to understand uh, what is the power consumption of these machines because he wants to save on power. So there are many many ways to to use the system in order to make what we call uh, smart uh, business decisions. So these are the two uh, categories that I put over here for the UniCloud. One is a, a very, very nice package of service tools. Uh, the fact that you can see everything, the fact that you can, uh, you are not depending on anyone in order to log into the system, and the fact that you have an automatic mechanism in order to alert you if there is a, if there is a situation uh, popping up, and the fact that you can uh, look at the, look at the, at the data and use it for Different, different things. Let's uh, talk about a few uh, other opportunities, which are business opportunities, which are not related to maintenance, but maybe related to uh, business models. So the first model is pay-per-use. 
better use is basically a business model when someone, maybe yourself as a machine provider, will put machines inside uh, your customer's building and he will pay you based on, uh, based on, on the meter of usage. So if I'm building coffee machines and I want to put uh, four industrial or big coffee machine inside the Unitronics uh, building over here, we have few floors over here, and I'm charging basically Unitronics uh, per cup, per coffee cup at the end of the month. So basically I'm putting the machines over there and at the end of the month I need to drive over there to look at the counter, take the numbers, send them to my financial department, they will send the Unitronics uh, 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 the check to how much money they need to pay this month. If you can connect all these machines to the internet, you can understand a few things. First of all, you don't need to drive to get the, the clicks from the machine. You can take this and count it. You can take this information straight from, uh, from the cloud. Secondly, you can decide that by the end of the month, you send this report uh, automatically to your financial department. So this, this uh, logistic is taking out. We took it out. Uh, you can see the data, the trending of using your machine uh, in the last uh, months. Maybe you understand that one of the machine is being used less and less, and you can understand that at the end of the day, uh, you will reach to a point that it's not profitable anymore to, to put the machines over there. And then you can uh, you know, act upon it and make your smart business decision Maybe out of the four machines, one is not uh, active at all. People are not using it. Now you put it free of charge in the Unitronics building. Uh, and if you see that live and you monitor it week by week, you might decide to take it out and put it in another client that basically your ROI or revenues from this machine are, are uh, better than uh, putting, in, putting it in or even this, uh, you know, simple test case or use case is very powerful because you can be more efficient. It's, it's not only reflecting of how many coffee cups you get, it's also reflecting on your warehouse, how many machines do you need to keep in your storage. Okay, if you are not aware that this machine in the Vinton's building is not used, you need to bring another machine to the other customers while you actually could uh, change the location of this machine. Um, I'll give you a very simple, uh, very simple, uh, another example. Take uh, garbage uh, trucks. Okay, garbage trucks that drive to industrial places uh, and they uh, have a daily tour in these uh, areas to, you know, take the garbage from big containers. If you could monitor remotely uh, if, the, if the garbage can, the big garbage can is full or not, you are able to decide if the, if the, if the truck should go that direction today. Maybe it should go not in the morning, maybe it should go in the afternoon. So by taking only one sensor over here to try to understand if it's full, if it needs to be taken out, uh, you can actually improve and make all your uh, operations uh, you know, employee-wise, uh, hours-wise, cars-wise, petrol-wise, you can save a lot of money only with one sensor that detects the capacity of this container. Preventive maintenance, we already spoke about. Trend analysis, we already spoke about. ESG ecosystem, I will touch it in a minute. Um, it's a trend, worldwide trend, and I will uh, explain you uh, what is the added value for this segment? You can see an ESG dashboard uh, over here, and basically monitoring uh, the CO2 values or what is called the carbon uh, footprint uh, in, on the customer side. So what is actually the value of UniCloud? It's basically able you to uh, supply a complete solution for customers, a solution that they're already demanding, it's off the shelf product. You don't, it's not like it's going to be developed. It's a proof of concept is already there. Companies are using it and I'll show you how easy to use it. 
uh, I'm going to give you some uh, instruction how to log into the system and I'm sure that after 20, uh, 20, 30 minutes you will understand the principle how to build your dashboard and you feel more comfortable with that. So the learning curve over there is very short. Uh, uh, it will, can boost your brand and your competitive advantages. You don't want to be left behind. Even if you are not going to implement it right now with your customer, you should, you know, um, get to know with this environment, get to know with the, how to do it, and maybe uh, maybe you can also, uh, um, you know, do some pilots with the, with your customers. Uh, you can save costs on service call lifecycle. We already discussed this, and this is one is a big one. Okay, if you are a machine builder or an integrator, you basically um, if you want to create a new line of product or a new line of solutions, what you do today, you go to customers, you ask them, how do you use with my machine? What is the problem? What is the benefits? And so on and so on. You are depending on their uh, honesty. You are depending on their willingness to, to share you with this information. Uh, actually, you don't need, if all this information is stored on the cloud, you actually don't need to have this dependency on your customers. You can take all the history of all your machines, not only one machine, and give it away to your um, give it away to your uh, development team, uh, and uh, and they can produce basically they can analyze the data and produce basically a better a better product. And this goes straight back to the competitive advantages. So if you are a, if you are a machine builder, if you are a system integrator, by using data, you are able to be to have a competitive advantages on other uh, machine builders, maybe in your uh, in your area of machines. And and the data is there, so why uh, why not using it? There is a question over here. I will uh, I will uh, I will uh, answer that at the at the end of the session. All the, all the data is stored on UniCloud, on the cloud. It's not stored on the PLC. It's not stored on your local uh, device, on your PC. It's stored on, on UniCloud from one year, depends on your subscription, up to seven years and maybe more, depends on, uh, on the agreement. Everything is stored over there. And uh, even if you disconnect the machine from the cloud, the data is still there. So can, you can basically uh, work with data without having any more physical connection. So if you are taking out those machines from your customer side, you don't lose the data. Another added value. Is that you can have new business decisions, uh, business opportunities. Uh, for new service, professional services, and you can build dashboards and so on. And I will show you in a minute how to do that. It's going to be a very, uh, the demo is going to be in a couple of minutes. And open to new, uh, new markets. I'm going to skip the presentation of the ESG uh, implementation, uh, and I'm going to go straight to uh, to the demo with your permission. Okay, so I hope you see my uh, screen over here. Let me just Okay, so this is a demo that I wanted to show you. This is UniCloud. And basically what we see over here uh, is a demo which is available for you guys as well if you want. Basically what I'm going to show you is a few different uh, dashboards. Uh, for example, this is a dashboard of a machine builder that has 10 machines. We can uh, see over here uh, that it has 10 machines, nine, nine are in good condition and are connected. One has a critical alert. We can see over here also uh, that one, two, three, four, four of them need to be maintained because I put behind this uh, widget, I put um, uh, a logical uh, condition to show me 
that if the working hours of these machines are uh, greater than or more than 7,000, please show me it in uh, red alert. I can see a different overview if I want. So just to show you that we can count, we can sum, we can show you tables, we can show you uh, geographic location of those machines, and we can have different types of uh, charts over here. This is the maintenance one. Again, uh, just to show you a quick one of uh, this kind of information that you can uh, display. Statistic one, so we have a line chart over here. I can decide that I want to focus on a specific time frame of two days, one day, and so on. I can decide that I don't want to see this machine, or that machine, and so on. And I can decide that I want to see uh, the measurement value of uh, what I measure over here. Uh, again, bar types, uh, pie types. Uh, you can basically do a lot of uh, a lot of presentation, different types. I'll go back to the main. And now I want to show you how I drill down to the level of um, basically a specific machine. Okay, so I'll choose 525. And now you can see that I have a different type of dashboard. You can actually, uh, you know, uh, um, create any type of dashboard using uh, gauges, uh, temperature values, uh, uh, chart lines, bar lines. I can also, what I did over here, I put a logical, uh, logical rule over here that if the temperature of this machine will be above 50 degrees, uh, the background will be red instead of, uh, in instead of green. Um, I know that you want to see how do I log into uh, to a system remotely. So I'll do it very fast. I'll click on the VNC. This is basically how easy it to in. Okay, and of course, if you if you put the password on the PSC, there will be a window pop up over here on top of that asking you for another security level, your password, your password. So it's quite easy to to do VNC. And I want to show you another thing. I basically when we say from machine to cloud and back, I told you that I can I can control the machine without uh, using VNC, without uh, programming remotely the PLC. So basically over here I can press and shut down the machine. Uh, with this uh, object I can change the temperature for example, with this object after I did the maintenance service for uh, working hours, I need to reset the counter so I can basically, um, I can basically um, uh, press this button and a value of zero will be sent to the, count the counter on the PLC. Let's go back to uh, the detailed one and what I see over here is all the gauges are down, so actually the machine is down. So what I did over here basically, I what is the added value over here? First of all, I don't need a high level professional person to shut down the machine or changing the value, I can take a junior and do minimal risk management over here and say, or to the customer, or to the end user. Said, look, go to this dashboard and press on this button and the machine will, will shut down. Okay, so this is one example of uh, how you can, uh, how can you can uh, use the system on a global view or on a specific, uh, specific machine view. Just play with the resolution over here. Sorry for that. Okay. I want to show you a few uh, tools that we have over here. We spoke about the automatic messaging. So uh, the messaging to create template of messages is relatively easy. Let's do one uh, message. Let's decide that I want to have a scheduler message. I want to have it via an email, not an SMS. I want to have it on a daily basis, maybe on a weekly basis. 
and I want to uh, basically to have a PDF report. PDF report is a new functionality that we added last uh, a few days ago. It basically uh, give you an option to send yourself a PDF with an image of the dashboard. Not only data in reports or figures and tables, which you can do as well. It's a way to it's a way to generate a PDF. You basically pick up or decide what will be the dashboard that you want to use uh, to capture in this report. You select. You can choose some properties if you want. Uh, what is the organization? What is the asset name, and so forth. And the last thing you need to do is to basically type over here your message, because that's an email, a title, and so on. And we're getting into the last uh, step, which is basically decide who will get this report. So you can send it to yourself, you can send it to all the managers, you can send it to a group of uh, people, so you can define your distributors uh, distribution list. And this is it. This is how easy it is to generate a report, which will be sent to you once a week if you want. Uh, no need to configure anything behind it. No need to configure an email uh, web server. So let's take it and let's enable it. Comment. Okay, let's publish it. That's it. So if you go to the published one, the events, uh, we'll have one line over here, which is an active alert. And starting uh, today or tomorrow, I will start getting the report. And we can actually also see the history. You can see over here all the reports, can be an SMS report, an email report that was uh, sent to us. Okay, so I will uh, go over here and suspend it. They don't want to get any reports anymore. And this is how easy it is to generate a report. Uh, again, you can generate a report uh, based on alerts. You can generate a report based on telemetry values, and it's all automatics. Last thing that, almost the last thing that I want to show you is a new feature that we uh, uh, introduced uh, a few days ago, which is a mathematical expression which basically take can take the values that you measured from your machine do some manipulation on that this is my famous uh, kpi esg kpi uh, dashboard so let's assume that i want to take the values that i'm going to use over here tackle calculation and i want to let's clear it out and i want to do some manipulation on my tags of course, you can, uh, if you have multi-type, multi-tags over here, you can multiply one on each other and so on. So basically today, the, what is the added value over here? Until today, you had to take the data out to a third party application and to do all the manipulation over here. Today you can, uh, you know, take the, the data from the tag, from the PLC, from your machine in real time do some mathematic manipulation on that. Maybe you want to convert uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Maybe you want to uh, do some calculation in order to uh, set up uh, or understand your uh, carbon footprint. It's very easy uh, mechanism. It's very intuitive uh, and it's available for you without uh, any restrictions uh, in terms of uh, subscriptions. Okay, so again, I'm going to go over here. Over here, I can see that I have different uh, tags over here. So I can decide that I want to take this one and do some manipulation with another tags and so on and so on. So it's quite easy, very intuitive. So this is regarding uh, tag calculation. Now I want to show you the last thing that I want to show you basically, and I hope you have uh, another five minutes uh, to bear with me, is how easy it to generate uh, a new dashboard. So I'm, I'm used to, what I think basically is if you can see how many dashboards do I have over here. Um, if you can, if you know how to work with your mobile, smart mobile, 
small device, you have basically no, no problems to use and build a dashboard. So this is my interface. I'm going to create a new dashboard, I'm not give it in a different name, just use the dash default. And over here, I have a set of tools, widget it, widgets. This is my canvas. And I'll show you how easy it is to, to create a dashboard. So first of all, I want my uh, VNC. I want to log in remotely. So I'm going to place it. Okay, I'm going to position it. This is the size that I want. Just as an example, uh, maybe I want to see the geographic location of all my machines. So I will choose uh, pumping devices. Next, 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 next. And this is it. Now I have the graphical. Uh, geographic location of all my machines. And maybe I want to have some, we have different tools over here. Uh, you remember the switch off that I switch? So this is the gadget that I can shut down the machine. This is the asset uh, update uh, widget where I can remotely from the dashboard without logging into a VLC, a PLC, I can change a parameter of a tag on the PLC. Uh, I have uh, radial uh, gauges, uh, I have uh, line chart, I have uh, other tables, everything is, is basically drag and drop. Okay, and this is a five uh, step wizard which you will find in different places in the system. Uh, it's easy to use. I'm going to ask for this, I'm going to ask for the date and I'm going to measure maybe this one and that one. I have the last uh, values. I'm going to drag and drop uh, over here. So, Moment, please. So I'm going to go back and show you the the setup on my uh, ESG um, table. I'm sorry for that, but it's relatively easy. Um, again. I'm choosing my uh, platform. I'm choosing the what are the headers over here, and I'm choosing what uh, type of tags do I want to use and the scope of time. And then I'm going to build the table by just drag and drop uh, all the values over here and over there. And over here I can see uh, the tables uh, how it will be presented on my dashboard, and this is the whole data. And over here, over here, I can play with some cosmetics of the table. I'm not going to do it right now. And, and that's it basically. Okay, and this is how you build some uh, charts over here. The last thing that I want to show you is basically where do you, uh, where you can uh, find all the information that you need uh, basically for, to be able to log into the system. So in order to create your account, which is free of charge, of course, and you have a trial for three months, you need to go to Unitronics IO login, and then to sign up with this uh, form. As soon as you sign up, you get an email to verify that uh, this is yourself. And as soon as you verify this is yourself, you will have uh, access to the system. Uh, you don't really need to have any PLC, physical uh, PLC connected. We have two demo PLCs uh, inside uh, every new account, so you can play with measurement. Uh, if you know how to connect, of course, you are more than welcome uh, to do that. So uh, basically, this would be the login page, and this is basically the address. 
Getting started. Getting started is located, page is located on our uh, website. You have over there an overview, movie, how to build a dashboard. You have over there uh, guides, uh, how to connect uh, Unistream controllers, uh, series uh, to your systems, to the cloud. You have over here a movie and you have over here a PDF, which is basically uh, step by step how to configure, how to connect physically, and uh, uh, which relate to connectivity. You have the same for uh, Vision, Samba, or Jazz, and you have the same for how to configure a third party and non-electronics device, and how to connect it to the internet. Again, the same principles uh, by using movies and, uh, and, um, and, and PDFs. In terms of uh, subscription and prices, you can find it also on our website. Okay, so if you go to the website, uh, there is a pricing over here, and you can see the different uh, subscription levels, uh, starting from uh, saving data for one year up to seven years, starting off uh, 20 tags, uh, sampling every five minutes to 200 tags every 10 seconds. So of course it's reflecting on the size of the database and uh, what you can what is stored on the platform. And the last place that I want to show you, in addition to um, the getting started page over here, after you log in to the system, after you log in to the system itself, over here you have the help. Okay, so basically you can find all the documentation, all the information over here, including step-by-step uh, step, uh, of how to configure, including movies, uh, including everything that I showed you on the, on the website in terms of uh, connectivity and how to connect. And uh, that's, that's basically what I wanted to show you uh, today. So, um, we are heading to the, and I really appreciate your patience over here because it's about an hour, uh, our time that we have it right over here. And now I'm going to let me just um, let me go over the questions that you guys uh, put over here. So going to be a quick demo. Yes, I did. <laughs> and this is the only question over here. So anyone else has any question about uh, why we should go and experience ourselves with UniCloud? Why we should uh, now move from selling boxes or selling control legs into a full solution? And what are the added value with this solution? How do you basically build, preserve your uh, knowledge to be relevant in the field, yourself as a professional or yourself against uh, your customers? So please, if you have any more questions, uh, we'll wait a few seconds until you will be able to write them. So no more questions. I really thank for you for your patience and for the chance you gave me to show you something. I again, I'm urging you to. Uh, to go to, maybe you can write it down, okay, to this address, which is uh, unitronics.io slash login slash sign up. Just put your email address over there, sign up, and you immediately will be able to uh, log into the system. If you are technical guys, you will also be able to connect your uh, your hardware, your uh, real PLC to the system. You have over there three months trial, including using SMS, including using emails. There is no restrictions for the trial. And by the end of the month, uh, by the end of the trial, I hope uh, that we will find some of you as, uh, as new customers. 
So again, thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. And see you next time. Bye-bye.